Good morning. Day three out here on the Appalachian Trail. And happy to report we did make it to our destination last night. We made it to Seth Warner Shelter. We camped uh, at the campsite there and made it in a touch before dark. So we were able to just get in and get set up before it got dark. So um, another long day and we got a good fire going well, once we got in and settled. Enjoyed that. Had a good heavy rain overnight and everybody seemed to weather that fairly well. So we're now off and at them a little bit earlier than yesterday so that we can hopefully get in um, a bit before dark. That would be a good thing for tonight. Uh, so we got 7.2 on tap for today. A couple decent beaver ponds that we're going to come across. So pretty excited to check that out. And uh, we filled up a nice brook there at the Seth Warner Shelter. So everybody's carrying plenty of water. Because um, we won't really cross any of that till we get to the beaver ponds. Um, but overall... Everybody's a little stiff morning wake up, but we're doing well. Getting ready for our first climb. So as soon as we get up here a little bit, we'll have a, a good steady climb. And uh, that'll get us warm. And it looks like it's going to be another nice day. I don't think they're calling for rain today. So that'll be, that'll be good. Give us a chance to get our tents up and get them dried. But all in all... It's been a good couple days. Packs are getting lighter as we're eating all our food. Vermont's taking good care of us here. I did notice that I think with the whole COVID thing, the volunteer groups definitely haven't been out as much. Once we got to the Vermont-Massachusetts border, we've, we passed a lot more blowdowns that we have in the past. So that's expected, I suppose, if if they're not allowing a lot of their crews to work, so keep that in mind. Um, there is there is a privy, a good ways away from the shelter here at Seth Warner, so if you stop into the Seth Warner shelter, it's a good ways back. We didn't see it last night, but found it this morning, so that's an FYI. It is listed on the map. Um, but we couldn't find it last night, but it was dark, so we found it on the path this morning, which is good. Good news, so that's just a little bit of information. Oh, the mice. As soon as I can actually get a cell signal, we haven't had a cell signal for the whole whole day yesterday, and up till now even, but um, I got some updating to do on, on gut hook with a few of the water sources but the mice <laughs> the mice last night were crazy they were all over the field where we were camping plus all all through the shelter so this is uh middle of october and the mice the mice itself seth warner are very much an active role here everywhere all around the tents we were going to leave our packs out last night but just as we were sitting around the fire, we saw three, four, and then a bunch in the woods. So there is a good population of mice. So FYI on that. But I'll definitely try and get a little more footage today. Been trying to keep the team moving and motivated, so the recording has really not been a priority, but definitely want to see the show you the beaver ponds and anything else that's half decent the trail itself is basically the same as you've been watching just the trail so I'll bring you up here shortly but we're going well day day and a half to go talk to you later
camera. Huh? Smile at the camera. Well, at least we got proof. Oh, I didn't smile. <laughs> I didn't realize it was there. I'm concentrating. Hey guys, Belvedere here. Well, I had a minute, so I figured I'd give you a quick look at that z packs chest pack I was talking about and how that actually attaches. So, the chest pack itself is a pretty decent size. I keep all my snacks and some of my extra batteries and video equipment in there. Very handy. It's really not annoying. Um, I do have a Z-Packs bag, but I think any any pack that has these daisy chain loops here comes with the the bungee you bungee on this buckle and there's one for each side so that's the two top parts and then down below is the same thing with a smaller buckle but I added a carabiner just because I didn't like trying to deal with uh, threading that bungee down there so another two clips so when I take the pack off I just clip off this side and then it just opens like I would just really regularly taking my pack off not a big deal at all actually uh, for for the value I get out of having a little more weight on the front and having some stuff a little closer um, and the thing I like the most about this versus a fanny pack is if you have a if you're wearing a waist pack you're, you have something else over this buckle so to get your hip belt on and off you 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 have to get a fanny pack out of the way just to get to your your waist strap so if you're carrying a pack that has a waist pack it makes it a little harder to um, access that so in my book it's a win okay here we are we made it We're co just coming in to this massive pond that they called Beaver Pond. Stunning. Beautiful. Get a better opening up here. half a mile downhill to get to this point but it's nice uh, this is an area you can easily get lost as they say just take that view in Okay, we just made it to the top of Consultation Peak. Just wanted to film a little bit up here because sometimes guidebooks and things say there's campsites and you don't really know what to expect, but it seems like there's a fire pit and room for two. Two decent tents, I would say. There's another path in the back, but I'm not going to follow that down, but right at the top, Consultation Peak, there is a campsite, two tents, fire pit. We have just over three miles left for the day. Doing pretty well. So it's 2.30. A lot of downhill. 
right now. So we're going to take this down to a dirt road. And after that, a little stream, which will refill enough just to get us into the shelter. And then we'll be at the Congdon shelter for this evening. So on our way down from Congdon Peak. Catch you later. All right, we made it down to the other beaver pond. This one, the water is a lot closer to where we're walking. There you can kind of see their little house out there, the height of the water. It's actually coming down across the board a little bit. There's some amazing Amazing stopping point here. Let's try and mosey on a little bit without getting totally wet. I'm walking right through it. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, we're down to a mile and a half. So we're doing pretty good now. Had some good terrain for the last half hour that got us down here. That's just crazy. Never know what you're going to walk through out here on this trail. A little bit closer. It's too bad one of those big beavers wouldn't just show up. There's a couple trees I think I took a picture of. And what makes a beaver stop chewing? A picture of two different trees, both about a foot in diameter or more, and they chewed more than halfway through and then decided to stop. So I'm not sure what, what, when they decide to call it quits, but they do <laughs> some amazing work. Looks like if all goes well, we should uh, be getting in with a little bit of daylight left in the day. That's the plan, just shortly after four two hours and less than two miles so I think we can make it happen so here's hoping for that and we'll catch you later okay made it into camp in the light so we can give you a quick walkthrough of what the shelter is for tonight finally got a daytime shot of our quarters for the evening we've been staying in the ultimate two right on the water nice uh, Congdon shelter is the name of this I'll go show you the water source Good campsites here. One other gentleman staying the night, but just a little bit of a trickle, but it's just enough to get the water that we need to finish this journey. It's beautiful. 
It's amazing what just getting in one hour early will do. You know, our pace didn't change too, too much. We left a little earlier and that kind of helped us out today. Got us here with enough time to get set up and enjoy a little bit of light because here it gets dark pretty fast. It has a privy, pretty decent shelter. Water, close, that's key. The last couple haven't been as close. This one's pretty close. So, we're anxious to uh, get out and see our families. So tomorrow we got 4.3 out to our pickup. <laughs> 